Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another QuickBooks video. Before we look into creating expenses on QuickBooks or accounting for recording, posting, supply, invoices on QuickBooks, I want to show you how to create new nominal accounts because that may be necessary before you start posting or paying or creating expenses on the supplier page. Go to transactions in the left sidebar and go down to chart of accounts. This will give you a list of all the accounts that are currently on QuickBooks not your customer and supplier accounts, but your nominal accounts, things like sales and expenses. You'll notice the list is relatively small. And as we go through the list, by default, we have various other income accounts, various expense accounts, such as office expenses, interest expense, insurance, we have cost of goods sold, like products that we have purchased for resale. Subcontractor costs, supplies and materials. We have income accounts, like sales. And then we have some more accounts at the top of the page here. You'll notice that a bank account hasn't been entered by default onto QuickBooks. So to add a bank account or a new nominal account to QuickBooks, go to the top right of the screen and click new. You'll then have the account screen appear. Choose your category type. So this is a bank account. We then have a detail type. We have a checking account a money market account, rent held and trust, savings, trust, and cash on hand. For many of you, you will be using a checking account. Enter the name of the account. So I'm going to name this my HSBC current account. And in the description, I'm going to put business current account. You then have an option of entering of entering a starting balance and the date of that balance. If your business is brand new and you are recording your transactions from the first day of trading, you probably won't have an opening balance. If you are new to QuickBooks, but your business has been running for some time and you have kept your accounts on different software in the past, then there will likely be an opening balance. If you're confused and you have some questions, please speak to your accountant or get in contact with me at info at bpfs-online.com. Once we have created the account, click save. And our HSBC current account has been saved and now appears at the top here. We may also have a petty cash account. So let's go to new. Once again, go to bank. Let's use the cash on hand detail type. Leave the name as cash on hand and the description. I'm going to put petty cash. There's no opening balance or starting date. Save. I now have my HSBC current account on the system and cash on hand. We can do the same to add new expense and sale accounts by simply clicking new, finding the category type, 
So we have income, expenses, and there are other category types too. For the majority of you, bank, credit card, income, and expenses will suffice for your accounting needs. Find the detail type, enter a name for the account and a description, click save, and the account will be added to the nominal list or chart of accounts on QuickBooks.